Happy holidays, this is Eats with Twan and today we're making a cheesecake dip. This cheesecake dip is going to be no bake, no mixing, no nothing. It's already pre-made. Y'all don't believe me? Come on, come on, I'm excited for this one. We are using a Philadelphia cream cheese no bake original mixture. Yes, this is a no bake cheesecake mixture that's in a tub that's ready to go. This is going to be so simple and so easy to make with your friends, family, and it is kid friendly. So I'm going to walk y'all through everything, but I'm going to open this tub and show y'all. Look, this is non-sponsored by the way, but anytime I see something good, I believe my followers are like, you know, I have no problem sharing it with you all. I know you're gonna ask where I got this tray from. I got this from Crate and Burrow. I'll have that in the description. But look at this. The serving tray and the dish fits right on top of each other and it stores perfectly and is made of good quality. Again, I got that from Crate and Burrow. I'll have that in the description for you guys to check it out. It's pretty cool. Now, you can use whatever serving dish you like. What you're gonna to need to do is grab one tub of that no-bake cheesecake filling from Philadelphia Cream Cheese, and you wanna go ahead and spread that out generously. Is This is gonna depend on how many people you're serving. You could just use one tub, or you can use two, but as you can see, one tub was not enough for my Christmas tree, so I needed to grab a secondary tub which I always have seconds stored away. So just like that, TV Magic, we have our second tub available, and I'm just gonna spread that out just until it fills up my Christmas tree serving tray, just like that. Now don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more recipes from Eats with Tuan. Now, for the toppings, I want to use some Christmas sprinkles. You can use whatever toppings you like, but I grabbed these Christmas sprinkles from Target, and it has an array of different sprinkles for me to use. Now, I am just going to freehand it and just create a little design. This is why I said this is kid-friendly. Grab your kids, hey, friends and family too, and you guys can go at it and have fun. So I'm starting my bottom layer with some sprinkles red and green of course then i am going to take some of just a plain old green sprinkles just like that more like a sugary sprinkle mixture look and i'm just building my christmas tree now speaking of christmas trees look i got some christmas tree sprinkles that i'm going to add to this mixture as well and you can design it however you like i just wanted to go right across just to make a nice design for my cream cheese dip and what i like about this it has different shapes different sizes different colors we have a mixture of colors solid colors but they all embody the essence of christmas and it just came out perfect Now, and as you can see, I just went through and added some more sprinkles with some of the gaps, just like a Christmas tree. You want the balls and your garland and all of your ornaments to be in the perfect spot. So that's what I did with these sprinkles. I wanted to make sure I filled up all the spots to make sure everything looked cohesive, just like that. So I just took my time with it and it turned out pretty amazing, you know, a nice food cheesecake dip Christmas tree. Now folks, we are finished. We designed our cheesecake dip with all of our amazing sprinkles. Let's get a close up of that. Look at that, amazing. Design it however you like, use whatever toppings you like. But we're not finished. I'm going to walk you through what to dip inside of this amazing cheesecake dip. Let's just call this a Christmas dip, okay? Now, I'm using my beautiful platter and I'm going to add some pretzels. Yes, as you can see, I got some pretzels in my hand already. I was snacking on those as I was filming this video. We're going to call this the star of the platter, our pretzels right at the top of the tree. Next some honey graham crackers 
animal graham crackers that is yes some beautiful honey animal graham crackers you can use whatever cookies you like remember it's your recipe i'm only here to guide you so for me i use that and as you can see everything just sliding off <laughs> the tray so belgian waffles yes we're going to use some mini belgian waffles to dip inside of our cheesecake christmas dip some beautiful green grapes by the way i love frozen green grapes but that's a whole nother video some strawberries yes some fresh strawberries yes we do clean our fruit over here so i added that to my tray just like that and of course i wanted some more belgian waffles to fill in some space and we cannot forget the lotus biscoff cookies yes those airplane snacks if you know you know last but not least yes some green apples apples i love them especially some granny smith apples these are granny smith apples and there you have it we made a beautiful christmas dip platter with cheesecake non-baked of course look at that we got our biscoff cookies our granny smith apples grapes strawberries animal crackers pretzels <laughs> perfect 10 out of 10 of course we got to give everything a taste test i will say the granny smith apples and the pretzels were a hit those are my favorite everything else was good but if i had to pick the top two it was the granny smith apples and the pretzels look at that strawberry look like whipped cream refrigerate this until you're ready to serve it is amazing and it holds pretty well I really appreciate you guys sticking with me this whole year. Can I believe we're at the end of 2023? Let me know in the comments if you're going to give this a try. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more recipes from Isotuan. As you can see, I am going to devour this platter. Not by myself. I am going to save some for later on. I'll see y'all next time.